so let's go to our browser here and create uh, open a new tab so in here i want to i want to type localhost and then catalog slash public because that is our folder Okay, before I go to the public folder, let me just go to the catalog folder here. So while we are here, you see that uh, it shows me the index of catalog, which is this. I've got two folders, public and app. Now, if I click on app, you see that I can see the files in here, which as much as we know, nobody will be able to see these files. It's better to add an extra layer of security just in case somebody manages to do that. So what we will do is go to the catalog here inside uh, app inside app we create a new file and this will be our ht access that will provide uh, restrictions on what, how to view things so in here we're going to say options with a capital o then minus indexes so that we stop anyone from doing that so in app we'll save this as dot ht access so don't give it a file name just dot ht access like that and save and close the file that's all we're going to need it for. Now, as soon as we do that, if I try to refresh this, you see that now it will tell me access forbidden. So I cannot view this folder anymore. Okay, great. Now I can go to the public folder and now I'm accessing the index page, which is nice. So let me come back here to the index page right here, just so you can see, I will echo something and say, this is the index page. So save there and refresh. So we are in the index page. Awesome. Okay, but this is not how we're going to be doing things. So the, the file that I want to read from is the app uh, file. So it's inside core here, app.php. So let me open that and then put here. This is the app. Okay. Now, if I go back here and refresh, oh, let me go back to index.php and save. If I refresh now, I get nothing because app is not activated. So we want to activate app. Now, what I can do is I can include like this, I can say, in fact, I will say require because this is required. Now to access uh, the app folder, I'll have to go a folder upward. So to do that, I would type dot dot slash app uh, and in there there is core and then uh, what's this this app like that okay so once I do this and I refresh who oh, failed to open the stream it's saying it can't find that file because I forgot the dot PHP at the end okay great Ah, so this is the app page. Now, the problem here is that there are several files inside the core here. There's config, there's controller and all that. So I need to include all of them here. But I don't want to be doing this in my uh, index page. So what I would do is I'll copy this. I'll put it inside init.php. That's why I created this file here. So I'll require that file from here. Now, please note that even when we are using the init, which is inside app, uh, we are still going, we are still pretending as if we are inside the index page because what will happen is we'll only be accessing the index page. This is essentially a one page website. So once we access the index page, everything is relative to the index page. Okay. So here, app, core, like this. So I want to include all these files inside core. So these app, uh, how many are they? One, two, three, four. Right. So fourth one here. So the last one should be up and then I can put the rest in any order, but I'll prefer to put controller here. And then here I will put the, uh, what's the other one? Database. And then at the very top config, because that's all the configuration files in there. And that's, that's it. So once I have this, I'm done with the init page. But now in the index page, I need to include the init page there so that in here, I'm only including one file. So I'll say init, something like that. So once I do this, you see that this is the app page. App is still running, which is good. 
and then uh, if I go back to app here I want to create a class because app is a class so I want to create a class here and say class app like so so if you don't understand what classes are don't worry I'm going to explain uh, very shortly but then what we need to do inside uh, uh, index here is to simply say app is equal to new new app like so so what we are doing is we are instantiating this app class here we are saying create a new class called app that's what we are doing here and this is all we need to do in our index page nothing more so this index page is done uh, but then uh, I need to explain a little bit about classes so let me uh, and comment this for a bit so a class is simply a collection of uh, functions right so you know that you can create functions uh, normally when you are doing your PHP like uh, something like function my func something like this right now the thing is if you have several functions that are doing exactly the same thing or something similar you can group them into one group and that group is called a class just like this so class app and it contains these now once functions are inside a class they are called methods okay and then you can also create something like let me say public uh, ver or a variable this is a variable so you can also add variables inside here okay now the reason you would add a variable at the top here is so that it's accessible to all the other functions here and if you create a variable in here it's only accessible in this function all right so now the the variables here are called properties because they contain something in there so they are called properties and the functions are called methods and the class itself is really what is known as an object so this is an object right here which contains methods and properties as simple as that now to use your class you simply instantiate it by saying something like a is equal to new app like this okay so this looks kind of like a um, a function here uh, that's how you instantiate uh, a class just like this so now this a is a clone of this thing here so then if I want to access this function like uh, my func here I'm simply going to say a use an arrow like that a dash and a greater than and put my func at the end like that so now I'm telling it to run this function right here as simple as that okay and now uh, to access a variable like this one I simply do this exactly the same thing like that and that's accessible now if I'm accessing these same things inside the class I use the keyword this like so so if I want to get this variable I'll say this ver like that so which means I'm talking about that if I simply do this this is a different variable and not this one okay same thing if I want to access this function from within so from this function I want to access that I'll still say this my func like so then I'm accessing that and then there are three uh, words here you can use this public uh, and actually it's a good idea to actually be explicit about these things so functions can either be uh, functions can either be public uh, private or protected so functions and uh, both variables so in this case let me put private here okay so if uh, this is a private variable now so what this means is that I cannot access this variable from outside so what I've done here is illegal so if I try to run this it's going to say fatal error cannot redeclare func oh okay so which means uh, in index.php where is this oh 
no that's not what i did uh, the problem is there's two functions of the same name so this one i'll say new that's the error let me refresh so it's going to say undefined variable up oh no 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 line 18 what am i doing oh sorry my bad you don't put a dollar sign there this is how you actually instantiate a class so refresh and now it's going to tell me cannot access private property app which is here so because this property is private i cannot access it from outside however i can access it from in here this same property so what i could do is oh i think my keyboard is off okay there we go so what I can do instead is I can access it from inside here, like this, okay? And I'm going to say echo, like this. So this function is able to echo this even though it's private because they're in the same class. And then all I need to do is access this function in order to get this to echo that, see? So my func here, I can do it like that there. So once I do this, it's going to echo this is a variable okay great now the reason why you would want something to be private is because sometimes you just want these functions in here to communicate by themselves and not, no one should access them from outside that's understandable now if you say public it means even from outside just like this function is public i can access it from here but then there's also what is called protected I like this now protected is just like private right if I try to access a protected variable from outside, it's going to throw an error, just like the private. But the difference is that, now let me do this first of all, let me get the private part. Uh, <laughs> the private part. So what I want to do is create another class here. Let me say class up to like this. Now, if I create this class and say extends up like so, What I'm saying is that this new app, which is app2 that I've created, extends this one. What this means is that now this class also has access to all these functions in here from directly in there. So like for example, I can access uh, this my func from inside here. Okay, no problem. However, if this is a private variable, I cannot access it inside this other class even though it extends this app. Okay, however, if I put it as protected, I can also access it in here in the extension, right? So I can access it in there as well, but I still cannot access it from outside. So this is like protecting uh, this variable to be only allowed to be accessible in this class and its children or its extensions. Okay, so you're asking to yourself, why would I need to extend a class at all okay there are certain times when um, there are certain times when you have a class like this class app and it's got all these nice functions maybe there are 20 functions in here okay and then you want to create a different class that is exactly like this one and yet it's got a few extra functions now this means you'd have to copy everything in a class this first class into the second one and then add those extra functions right but that would be a waste of coding uh, space because you're repeating yourself so instead you can just say extend this class so that i can add just one more function in here but i still have the functionality of the main class like that okay so this is all about uh, this is all you need to know for now about this object-oriented programming. So from here, let's begin to actually create our app class.